What's poppin' this Enzo McFly, Enzo? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. OTG underscore Breezy. It's Kel in the building. Why yo, Benji? It's your boy, Mikey Iso. It's your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Ingrid here. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ me, Daniel. It's your girl, your cocky Diana. Man, shout out to GMT Radio, K22 Radio. What's going on? It's the Paige J. I am here with Catch 22 here at GMT Radio. Make sure you check them out. ThePageJ.com. Grand opening November 4th. It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. Walk it like we talk. Walk it like we talk. Walk it like we talk. China, what's wrong, bro? I'm happy. Okay, I'm just. I am at peace with myself today. She look a little, little happy. Yeah. I look. I'm a little big happy. Big. She even got some this week. I ain't getting none. My finger is the only thing I get. Thank you. I've okay. okay. been celibate for like three days. You've been celibate. <laughs> She was a little bit for three days. Now that's big to me. Oh boy, well I guess we're on the right path uh, with our first guest for today. And no yeah. telling what we gonna talk to. Uh, she's gearing up for her grand opening of her new production studio, which is launching Sunday, November fourth. She's been. I have a lot of questions. Just wait till we get into what we gonna talk about, cause her PR came over here and said this is our focus. <laughs> And I'm worried about the first one. But we got Paige J in the building. What's up, yeah. man? Ah, what's going on? What's going on? I miss you. I miss you, too. too. It's been a minute. I mean, a year. A year. So in this year, you got a whole nother degree in uh, sex, sexology. Oh. I didn't even know that was a, 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 a subject. Uh, but I've been, a, I've been an ologist for a long time. You've been an ologist? Yeah, you know that. What kind that's, of ologist? That's, I mean, a drip ologist. <laughs> I like you. I love you. I like you. No, no. Love so, me. how did you transition into this space? I guess as far as being comfortable enough in today's society to talk about sex openly as a woman. Well, the last time I was here, I had just started my website. Mm -hmm. And now I'm opening my studio, and I think what made me so comfortable about it was like, sex is here. Like, it's prevalent, it's a money-making industry, and I love it, like, I love what I do. I'm not gonna wait on anybody to give me an industry to make some money in. I'm gonna make that lane for me to make money in something that I totally enjoy, which is sex. Hey, <laughs> are you good at it? Am I good at it? She's an ologist, bro. She specializes in. Yes. I teach you something. Want to learn something? Yeah. You told me all. He will all want to learn something. He love learning. He big on learning. He's very big on learning. <laughs> And teaching, I am a good, I'm a quick learner. Oh, okay. So what's up with the uh -oh, studio? Right what is the studio? What is? Oh, the big broad question. So my studio is, you know, I did radio for about three years. So I want to have it. It's a radio and TV production studio, basically. But with the production, my end goal is to have my own sex network on the cable television. So, so you porn. I didn't say that. Or erotica. Do that, like do that. Uh, HBO app house. At a certain point, we're gonna say soft porn. But at another okay. point, I love to direct, produce, write porn. I would love to. Okay. I done read some of your story. <clears throat> I mean, is it good? <laughs> what you think? I went in the restroom with a towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, look, right look. Look. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta have like a white storyline. You can't have like every time I turn on black porn, it just go to like grease and like. Uh, 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 okay, so here's uh, the thing uh, about yeah. that, and this is why I'm in this industry. The adult <laughs> entertainment industry doesn't cater to us. Definitely does. They don't. And don't. if you look at, and I love my black people. That's all I date is black men. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but if you look men? at the yes, my favorite. Oh, okay. uh, see. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. Let's <laughs> You know, I don't think they cater to us. You find, you know, white porn and ADHD. Ebony porn, the camera's shaking, yeah. there's no panning. We ain't got nothing cute going on. They get you all close up, nothing edited, nothing soft about it. They didn't clean them up. You know the white women don't look like that in real life. Right. right. Let me ask you this. Are you gonna do a lot of foreplay in your video? Foreplay is my, that's my specialty. I specialize in orgasmic pleasures. 
So for those that have a hard time getting there, I can get you there. See, and that's what I mean, touching you. That's me. That's just yeah. me coaching you. That's just me talking to you. That's just me learning who you are as an individual and your body and your personality and what you need to get there. Right. So I love to work with individuals on that. And that's one thing that my studio will have. I'll have classes to help those they need to get there. But see, I had came up with an idea last week. I told Drew I was going to just smoke like a baby and put a pimp on him. But that's not going to happen. I'm going to be the mom and come in and be like, you need your diaper change? But do you know that's a market? Why did we go back to that? That ain't even going to happen, though. Because I'm being honest, this is one little one I like. It's a little bunny rabbit supposed to be taking pictures with the family and the little, you know, daughter is sleeping with. I mean, I think that's a market. That's a market. I agree with the bunny rabbit for Easter. Yeah, it's oh, a market. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one. Yeah. Okay. See? When you said little bunny rabbit, I'm like, look, oh, no, that's Not a whole grown man in a bunny costume. Yeah. 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 But she does have a point, though. When it comes to the white people, though, all jokes aside, the storylines are a lot better mm -hmm. than some of the black porn that I've seen. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of consider people. myself an ologist, too, if you will. That's why I couldn't figure if I knew you from somewhere, if it might have been Pornhub. Because you no. have a very, uh, don't say no. <laughs> And you know, sometimes we don't remember when we see these porn stars, we can't remember where we saw them at. So, honestly though, a lot of the storylines and the foreplay and some of these white porns, or I don't know what you call them, but they don't seem to add up to the same way the black ones are. Like right. Drew said, let's go straight into it. No, they yeah. throw us together. Start we just animals or something. So you're going to no. pay people to do this. That's well, see, I didn't say thing. all that. We just really jumped the gun. That's something I want to do in future references. Okay. But in my studio today and now, I want to have those shows because I want to network at one point where in the morning you have those daytime talk shows where you have a panel of women with their tea glasses talking about love, sex, and relationships. Okay. And then that midday drama, reality <laughs> about something that's going on, love, sex, and relationships. Then, you know, we got our going into like our HBO soft porn mm -hmm. that, you know, gets you intensified. And then at the end of the night, you already know we're getting down and dirty. That's what's happening. So you need like a a late night host with a voice like this. Oh, baby, I already told you about that a long time ago. Yes, actually, I did I tell you last time. I'm trying to get audio version of my stories, and I luckily have a wonderful erotic poet, and he writes for me now, and I need a male voice, definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, I would love to be on your video. Videos, video. of course. Stop it, y'all. Uh -huh. Now I gotta make sure that pH balance is on the control. <laughs> And we good to go. But I work with that too, and I got you. I'm okay, good. Send them up. Send them up. So, I got a question. Um, you have a 1-800 page J. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so, you know, this free game I'm giving y'all, I should be charging y'all right now. Uh-uh, no. Right? no. <laughs> <laughs> so, 1 800 Page J is basically for those that want to just call me and be anonymous and have simple conversations with me about whatever it is they want to know about. When it comes to pretending to love, when it comes to relationships, definitely sex because that's what I'm specializing in. And I want to give them that option to talk to me on a one in one and just let me help them. But you're going to pay me per minute. Okay. Per minute. Per minute. Per minute. Per minute. So it's like $4.95 yeah. and then after that it's like... no, it's $2 a minute, but... Minimum what you mean $2 a minute though? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's I explained my story, that's $10. Yeah. $2 a minute, but you know, five minutes be in the minimum, 60 minutes be in the max to cut you off, but you want to keep going, call me back. We're going to start it up. So that's do you have more than one person that's on that, on that line or is it just you doing that? As of right now, it's just me, but of course my mind is always going. And let's just say things of the past, just like fashion, it comes back in the, in the trend. Right. You remember when you had those hotlines, you call and talk to people on and stuff like that? I actually, one day, you know, going forth, probably sooner than later, 1 800 page, it will be a national syndicated masturbation hotline. I mean, once again. And it won't just be me. Once again, mm. you know. I can get it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I need you for the women, right? Yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. This just start off as a masturbation line. Are you selling uh, yeah. phone sex? Oh, yeah. Why not? Oh, I'm gonna I mean, I got some people that's gonna pay for it. Yeah. That's a whole new market. What were you doing when you thought this up? Basically, I always been into sex, and if we go there, I don't got enough time today to go there. I respect you. I love <laughs> sex. Bro, the market has changed. FaceTime premiums, bro. That's, all, yeah, all that's you... what I'm saying. I want a premium page, but my brother told me no. She been that if you no premium <laughs> Well, I was just, I mean, it's all going back, so follow me on Instagram, the page J underscore. And on Instagram, I have my days of the week. So on Mondays, it's Masturbation Mondays. Tuesdays, they try to take it from us on Twitter, but it's still Titty Tuesday and page J's. Titty Tuesday! You know, 
on Wednesdays, I got With Me Wednesdays, because, you know, every time, you know, it's a little foreplay for me. I like to be spanked. It's cool. Mm. Thirsty Thursdays, and that's why I might throw something out there to, you know, get your attention. Uh. And then it's Freaky Friday. Can I pull your hair? Mm -hmm. Can you pay for it? Yeah, I can. Then pull it. <laughs> Big friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, I mean, Sorry. you know, Sunday is for the Lord, but, you know, we're going to sex it up. Uh, Wait, is it? Look, my grandmother said if you act up Monday through Saturday, you can forgive your Sunday. And that's Sunday. why we got sex Sunday. Uh -huh. you know, keep it going. Is it satisfy, it's I'm going. sorry, did I, did I skip satisfy, satisfy, satisfy me Sunday? Uh, satisfy me Saturday? Yeah, yeah. I did. Satisfy me Saturday. That sounds fun. That's and those are my hashtags. But for my grand opening, 1 800 page J is an official hashtag. Uh -huh. Okay, so when when is that 1-800-PAGE-J available now? And is it a right 20, now. Is it a 24-7, 24-7 thing? It is an online base, so it's when I'm online. And when I go online, <clears throat> every social media will know. Mm. It's like, hey, I'm here, I'm online, catch me. Huh. So at this grand opening of the studio, <laughs> will there be... Um, what would there be? No, 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 I want to No, 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 I just want to know. Words. That's not my exact word. No, no, no. What would there be at this uh, grand you opening? You want to know it's going to be some toys he can take home. I don't think that's what he was saying. I think what he was saying is, would there be like any live models on display? You got to come. Uh, well, November 4th, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, you got to go to know. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to know. It's an all white event, guys. Oh, really? White. All See, white? See, you just said it was keeping the black, and now you're going to have all It's an all white event. Let me tell you what. I'm telling you. Why? Because I love to see my black people in all white. We look good. Right. Like we look good. Like you can see every pigment on us in white. So yeah, yeah I want right my people right in all white. But I'm gonna turn up. I don't wanna be soaking wet in white. You ain't gonna be I'm soaking so black. It's gonna be so kosher. You ain't gonna even know what to do. I'm entitled it the kickback because that's who I am. Like I don't want you to feel like you're wearing white. You got to dress all up. You got to do the extra. No, we're going to party. I'm we're going to have a good time. I'm coming we're going to get ratchet because that's who I am. I'm coming in rain right. boots in the phone. Girl, I'm is it white? Yeah, it's white. Okay, we got it. You got it. Come on, now. I'm coming in an Easter bunny suit since it's you're saying that's what you like. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not going to be with it's me. But you better not have to write a story. So, Paige, you had this, can I say something? You had this production studio, you know, and um, we introduced you to this group a while back, but I don't think you know what we're really capable of. You know what I'm saying? So, we like, we're good at everything because we're thick and nasty. Four and two. Huh? Ooh, that's thinking that's nasty. Thinking I like that. Thinking nasty. I'm going to use that. See, we, we know how to do what we do, and we do what we do real good. So, could y'all do, like, a live production? If you have the right looking people. <laughs> next Sunday. I mean, yeah, well, not next Sunday. Two weeks from now, November 4th. It calls. <laughs> and we can talk all about that. Okay. We can talk all about that. We can talk all about the that. The hoes got to look right. But I just think it'd be kind of cool if Catch-22 is going live. Catch-22 is going Thinking that's... Yeah, Catch-22 is not going live. You're right, right thinking nasty. And you can't try to really No, so I think she was going with having us be at the, at the spot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fair. I, I was going and with uh, y'all going with y'all show live. I just had to add, add all of that. And thinking nasty being the. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll get there. How about you? Okay. I'm just trying to say because, you know, as long as they look right. They might taste right. We probably they make, you know, as long as they look right. I'm just saying, I'm going to have some of them. Finest. Oh, really? I'll be there. I'm already up. This you know what I'm saying? Last long. Wait. I'm gonna have them there. That's who's gonna be there. I like the vegans. They taste good. <laughs> yeah, vegans. The vegans. Do they really? Cause they eat all them grassy, greeny mm -hmm. and stuff. I think you got bad taste. Cause that's all that pH balance. Oh. Uh, pH balance is very important, and y'all need. Thank you. Somebody found Y'all be trying to act like. Mm, we're we're talking about. Y'all don't know. We're talking about. Well, what a woman goes through, like on the back, like just from you, just your sweat and maybe the condom and. Possibly the body chemistry, we can get all kind of messed up from that. And I think men don't understand that. So if a woman tell you, no, nah, I'm not gonna go raw with you, or no, this is the type of condom I'm gonna use, you know, oh, you trying to trap me? You poked a hole in it, or no. you did this? No, a vagina is very, very sensitive. Tell me what kind of condom I need before I get there. I'll buy it. Uh, really? See, I like your type. Yeah, I'll buy it. I don't want you Definitely. to pass me nothing. But you don't need that that's like That's like passing me a blunt that you beer. already rolled. I didn't see you roll that. <laughs> no. I'm with see, you on that. Dude. But here's the thing. you like. I, I was a fast tail in college. But one thing I learned before I got there was, hey, you're going to get in a situation. You're going to deal with a man. You're going to get hot and horny. And when you hot and horny, you hot and horny. 
speak so to if it. he say to you, I don't have a condom, you ain't gonna stop. You ain't gonna stop. So be prepared for yourself mm -hmm. because your life yeah. means more than anything. Yes, sex is huge for me, but as a sexologist, I promote safe sex. And we can do it the right way. You know, some people say about lube. Now, ain't nobody doing no oral sex with a condom. Now, come on, it's 2018, I'm not foolish. But lubricants are protectants. And if you apply those, those are baselines and those are covers to keep you away from those things that your partner may or may not have. Best form of safe sex is just like the so, so Paige, you have a, a, a website, thepagej.com. Yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so, a year ago I came here and I started that. But before that, when I came here, I didn't have my short erotica stories. And I got so much out of those stories. When I say those stories saved my life. At that point in my life, I was kind of going downhill. I say mentally, I just lost my brother, I lost my child. I had moved away from home in the same time span. So it was just a lot. And me writing those stories, getting that frustration out, because I had just had a breakup, mm. wasn't sleeping with him. Mm. I thought, you know, men ain't nothing, ain't no good, but I was horny. Okay. So I put that into writing, and I figured out that I was really good at it. And that's on there. I have over 50 stories, short erotic stories on there. I have a, several blogs on there. I even have a for men section oh. on my website for you guys and my calendar. Which lets you know everything I'm doing. Uh, Catch 22 is actually the first to get the scoop on anything and everything that I've been doing, especially in these past six months. Um, I interviewed with Core 94 on the 29th, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think I can say that on the air. We're gonna say P Word Party Podcast. Oh, vagina. Where yeah. is that? Okay. Yeah. Where yeah. is that? Right. Between our legs? No, 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 no. Where is that? Come on now. No, no, no. no, no, no it's a podcast. That's her name. So oh. it's, it's the P Word Party Podcast. It's the name of the radio show. Oh, okay. They're okay. actually, you guys got the first hand, you know, the pre. Okay. Um, exclusive. Look at y'all. Mm. And the P Party Podcast on November 5th, the day after my event, they get okay. the after show. That's right. Oh. So. I want to go to that podcast. I just want to watch. Yeah. You just want to see? Yeah. Well, follow them on Instagram. Yeah, I'm going to do the, that. The P Word Party Podcast. I like the P Word. That's a nice <laughs> word. It's a great word. It's a great word. But before you do that, follow me, vpagej underscore. Everything is on there. Anything you want to see, my calendar is broad open on my website, vpagej.com. vpagej underscore on Twitter. Board. So let's think about this website. You say you have a man section on the website. What actually is included in that man section of the website? Oh, so the very first thing that you'll see when you click for men is the uh, pieces of the penis. Love huh? it. Love it. Brilliant. And I'm gonna be honest with you, and I put that on there. Brilliant. I put that on there for women as well, but for men and definitely because y'all have one, but y'all don't know what it comes with. Uh, what? Y'all know what it comes with? Okay, it comes with a cup. It comes. It comes with a cup. Let's so say they're ready for their own white party. Remember, we, we spoke before about the three type of men. You got the ticklish tip. The man that likes the tip of his head. Oh, okay. Sensei, uh -huh. you got uh -huh. the shaft pleaser. The man that likes his entire penis. Uh huh. Saturated. And you have the gaggy pick. The man that likes the tip of his penis in the back of your throat. I like all three of them. And then you have the. <laughs> what you talking about? Hey! Oh, that feels good. Oh, that's all the best. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. That's the best. But here's the thing, it's such a part, and that's why I think that women, is, oh, please, I mean, we too old, but you say you don't do it, we do it, okay? So if you doing that, make sure you know your partner, yeah, because so. every man is different. And yeah, in so. my four men section on my website, it's just showing you, you know, the different places that might intensify you a little different. So if a woman should have a do's and don'ts on that section. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you them. like, uh, do you have a man? Oh, for the I woman? have a where you should not leave your babies at on a woman section is three places you should not do that. Why are those? Where, where, please tell us. Yeah, her I hair, it. her eyes, and her nose. Well, uh -huh. well, look, I can't control none of that. You can control if everything. I'm, if, I'm, not. if I'm shooting for the face, where it go? No, Nobody because her go. eyes that can cause blindness. Close <laughs> You know it's coming. Close your eyes. In the nose. You better help protect the party. In the nose. She calls staff infection. Really? Longish and residue. That's fine. And the hair is just annoying. It's a hard Look, thing to get out. Girl, I just want you to see me come. Page J. Let me explain something to you. Can we just catch if it? it? If it clogs in their nose, that means they didn't go clean up after I did it. So that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? See, I like to be prepared, but you got to clean me. No, that's fine. Blow your nose. If I let you do all that, you're going to have to clean me. Because it's a gift for a gift. 
That's cool. I'm just saying, I, I have do's and don'ts, and uh, a don't. And a do, yeah. a do, a don't, and a does. So Paige Dave, once again, tell them about your grand opening, the date, the time, and where they can follow you on social media. All right, so this is the Paige J. My grand opening for the Paige J Production Studios is November 4th, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. All White Affair. Anything that you want to know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the Paige J underscore for more exclusive information, thepagej.com. Hey, get your sex on this weekend, because this one is the Sex Sunday. We having all the sex Sunday, because we having sex on Sunday, because it's Sunday and we have sex. And <laughs> 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 mix with DJ FX. When we come back, we got another special guest. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. It's Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.